Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How are? How is everybody? Everybody. Hi, teacher. Hi, Carlitos. Hi, how are you, teacher? Fine. How are you, Carlos? I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'm glad you're back. Hi, Noe, Jose, Rocio, Elmer, Walter. Anna, welcome. All right, very good, Aneli. Nice to have you all in class. All right, so yesterday we were talking about what? Let me see. Um, Anna, what was the topic we were talking about yesterday? Um, yesterday, yep. um, uh, past perfect. No, past. Uh, hi. No freeze. no freeze. Yeah, we talked about a little bit about past perfect, and we also talked a little bit about noun phrases. Aha, Noemi, continue. <laughs> noun phrases continue relative clauses. Excellent. As a subject, right? Remember that we study both as a subject and as an object. Okay, so that's what we studied yesterday, and we're going to continue with that today. I'm going to show you this that we studied yesterday. Just for you to remember. So this is what we studied yes. yesterday. Can you see? Yes. Yes. Right. yes. Very good. Okay. So noun phrases containing relative clauses. And we were saying that sometimes they can act as a subject and sometimes they can ask as a, they can act, sorry, as an object. So we can say something, or in this case, we're using something that I love is cooking with my family. So if my noun phrase is at the beginning of the sentence, before the verb to be, then the noun phrase is acting as a subject. If my noun phrase is as after the verb be, then it is acting as an object, okay? But at the end, the meaning is the same, it does not change, okay? So you can say something that I love is cooking with my family, or you can say cooking with my family, is something that I love and the meaning is the same, okay? Okay, teacher. And then, I mean, okay. you can change it to someone or something or whatever you wanna say. We were also talking about adjectives, all right? So we can use the adjective plus a preposition. We can usually, we use um, about or we use by, or a list of um, adjectives that we can use. All right, when we're talking about something. And this was the last exercise that we had last night. Were you able to finish this exercise? Jose, Noe, Ana, and Elmer, and Rocio, that you were in class yesterday? Um, so Eli, were you able to finish? No. 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 Okay. No. 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 Okay, Jose, what about you? Until seven. Seven, all right. Okay, Elmer, the same, right? Are you finished, Elmer? Yes, teacher, the seven. Okay, okay. You know what? I'm going to give you like a couple of minutes. Go right now to your groups. I mean, you're going to have different groups today, but that's okay. And try to finish it, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to check them, and then we have another exercise. So if you need to take a picture again, take a picture right now. So you are going to your groups and you can finish it, yes? Okay. Okay. Let me know when you finish. Okay, ready? Thank you. Yeah, man. Okay, very good. Okay, so I'm gonna assign you to different groups because it's, I mean, it's not. Oh, hi, Selena. Hi, Jose Ramos. All right, so hi, we're gonna go. Hi, we're gonna go to the groups right now. Selena, were you able to take the picture that I just had on the screen? Yes, I have. Okay, okay, okay. So the idea, Selena, is to complete the sentence. You may use uh, what's missing at the beginning or at the end, depending if you're using it as a subject or as an object. I'm gonna go to your group. I know you were not in class yesterday, so I can explain it a little bit, okay? 
Thank you. All right, so let's go. No, I'm not sharing. I'm doing the breakout rooms right now. Okay, so we have here. So you may start right now, guys. La, la señora. ¿Qué pasó? Ay, espérate. Ay, no, Emi, you're not paying attention. No. Oh, please. Come on. Okay. I'm trying to resolve it. Okay. Hi, Selena. Hi, Jose Ramos. Hi, Hi. teacher. All right. So, Selena, um, I'm going to show you really quickly. I'm going to share my screen with you, Selena, and with Jose. Ah, okay. You were not okay. in okay. class yesterday. Just give me a second here. I don't know what I did. Okay. So, um, I'm going to share my screen right now, Selena. Okay. So, I'm going to okay. see sharing yours. Okay, can you see mine? Yes. Okay, so Sally, yesterday we were talking about this topic, which is pretty much the last topic of section five. And we're talking about noun phrases containing relative clauses as a subject and as an object, okay? Now, remember okay. that relative clauses, they are because we use that or who or which or whom or whose, those relative pronouns. That's why they are called relative clauses. Okay, okay, now a noun phrase, Selena can go at the beginning of my sentence or it can go at the end of my sentence. If it's at the beginning and before the verb be, like this example right here, something that, that is the relative pronoun in this case, something that I love, okay, that's my noun phrase, okay, the whole sentence. And then you have is. If it's before is, this noun phrase is acting as a subject, okay? And then you have cooking with my family. Now look at sentence number two. It says cooking with my family is something that I love. Something that I love is at the end of the sentence, but it's also after the verb be. So that means it's acting as an object of the sentence. Okay, now what is the difference between the first one and the second one? Nothing in meaning. Okay, the meaning is the same. All right. But okay. what is different is the position of the noun phrase, if it's at the beginning or if it's at the end. But other than that, Selena, is exactly, you're saying the same thing. You can say something that I love is cooking with my family or cooking with my family is something that I love. In both cases, the meaning is the same, okay? Now, if you notice, that is in brackets because it can be optional, okay? You can say something I love is cooking with my family or something that I love. You can take it or leave it, it's up to you, okay? And then here we have, um, here in this case, if you notice we have someone who, now I use the relative pronoun who, because I'm talking about people, right? Someone who I would miss is my mother. Now, I use between who or that, I, I don't use both, right? I have someone who I would miss is my mother. Now, someone who I would miss is acting as a subject because it's before is, all right? And on the second one, my mother is someone who I would miss. Someone who I would miss is acting as an object because it's after the verb is, okay? Now, the meaning is the same. You're not changing anything. You're saying exactly the same. Okay. All right, and then we have this, I gave them this list of um, adjectives, Selena, that you can use. 
when you're talking about these types of sentences, you can say anxious, comfortable, confident, curious, depressed, and all the list, okay? Usually, when we talk about adjectives, you need to be, uh, or you need to join them with a preposition, either by or about. So you can say something that I'm anxious about is learning a new language, for example. Or something um, I am about is traveling to another country. Okay, so we can use the preposition by or about depending what you're saying. And then here, this is what um, the rest of your classmates are working on right now. So you say one thing, I mean, some of the, part of the sentence is already done for you. Okay, so you just need to finish up with the, with the sentence. One thing that I would definitely be fascinated by is traveling to another country. All right. And then you would be using it as an, as an object because, I mean, sorry, that would be as a subject because it's before the verb be. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. So that's pretty much what we were talking about. Thank you very much. All right. Do you have this picture, Jose Ramos and Selena? Or you need to take a picture right yes, now? I have. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. So I'll let you work. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Um, I said teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Norma and Elizabeth, fine. How are you? Nice to have you in class, Norma. And also, Elizabeth. Uh -huh. I, 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 I come back very, very tired. And yeah. I said, I rest a little time and uh -huh. then I connect. Right. I, uh, I sleep uh, until today. Are you serious? Oh my yes. goodness, Norma. <laughs> yes, oh my goodness, I believe you. All right, that's okay, Normita. So right now, girls, we're talking about it. None of you were in class yesterday, so I'm gonna show you this right now. I'm gonna share uh -huh. my presentation. The yesterday okay so yesterday we were talking about this topic hi adri we were talking about this topic girls um it's called noun phrases containing relative clauses okay we call them relative clauses because we use the relative pronouns who that which whom or no those all right mm -hmm. now, noun phrases we call them we call them noun phrases to sentences that are already structured okay now sometimes we can use them as a subject and sometimes we can use them as an object okay and this is the example something that i love that is uh, the relative pronoun something that i love is yeah. cooking with my family now something that i love is my noun phrase and it's acting as a subject because it's before the verb be okay okay and sentence number two you have cooking with my family is something that i love something that i love again is my noun phrase but in this case it's acting as an object why because it's after the verb be okay now the meaning is the same norma and elizabeth you can say something that i love is cooking with my family or cooking with my family is something that i love is the same thing okay it's just the position that changes okay the structure so the structure yeah pretty much okay or you can say someone who remember that we use who for people someone who i would miss is my mother all right so someone who i would miss is my noun phrase acting as a subject my mother is someone who i would miss someone who i would miss is my noun phrase acting as an object why? Because it's after the verb be. Now the meaning, okay? So yesterday I also gave them this list of um, adjectives, okay, that you can use. Usually we use them with, um, with the prepositions about or by. So something I would be anxious about is, I don't know, to lose my job, okay? Or something that I would be confident about is to, I don't know, to go to 
United States because they speak English and I speak English too, right? So that's pretty much what you're supposed to do. And this is the activity. So you can take a picture right now of this. Yes, I can see. And then, One, you, then you have to complete it with Norma and, and yourself and Elizabeth. Adriana, were you in class mm -hmm. yesterday, Adri? Adri, were you in class yesterday? No, teacher, no. Okay, all right, okay, very good. Okay, so you can stay in this group. I'm not gonna send you to another group, but stay here and work on this right now, okay? So you may take a picture because I need to go check in another group. Okay. Done. Done? Okay. Norman yes. Elizabeth also done, yeah? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Okay, so if you need help, let me know, okay? Stay in this group and work together, the three of you. Okay. I open one. Hi, Yeli. Hi, Walter. Hi, teacher. How are you? Finish already? Yes, teacher. <gasps> you did. Excellent. Only, only, only I did the number six. Uh, number ten. <laughs> ah, why? Because yesterday you finished everything. Uh, with the uh huh. Ah, okay, all right, okay, very good. Okay, very good. Let's see. Um, Ellie, can you read what do you have for number one? The the number one is, is one thing I definitely be fascinated by is is. Es que salimos ayer. Le diga de la de abajo. <laughs> okay, Elia, no worry about it. Yeah, tell me. Uh, the number nine. Okay, nine. nine. One, yes, nine. One, one thing, one thing I been secure about is traveling the bus. Is to travel, okay, on the bus. Okay, very good. Okay, Walter, can you tell me one, please? Uh, uh, whatever. What yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, the number 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 one that you ask. Okay. Yeah, that's um, fine. Yeah. Pardon? Okay. Uh, one thing I def definitely definitely be definitely yes. be fascinated by is tasting or tasting different foods or tasting, drinks. Tasting tasting different foods or drinks. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Interesting. Nice. Okay. Very good. Okay. I'm gonna go check another group and I'm coming back soon, okay? Okay. Thank you. Cuando vaya en medio, no. Excuse me. Hi, my dear teacher. Hello. I speak English and I speak English. I know, I noticed. Ajá. My dear teacher. Hola, dígame. I have my my certificate of diploma. Your diploma, yeah. oh. Yeah. So you finished everything, El Mercito. Yes, I, I, estoy haciendo las clases de gratis. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Pero qué bueno que no nos abandone, mire. Thank you so much. You're I love you. welcome, I know. I love you. I love you, como dijo el yes. chapulín. Okay. Ok, muy bien, vaya pues. Pero entonces, regálenme la number four. A ver qué tiene por number four. Por number four. Yeah. Ah, play basketball and play soccer. Ah, no. ¿Qué dijimos? Eh, que lo que podía ansioso. Let me see. Eh, find, find a job. To find a job, ok. Ajá. Uh, falling in love. Oh my goodness, I have to think yes. I'll be anxious about. Oh my goodness, yes, you're terrible, El Mirma. Yes, <laughs> oh, goodness. Yes. All right. <laughs> yes, okay. Anyway, I'll shut up, okay. <laughs> no, okay. dele, dele. No, 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 olvídelo. Empezó, Ana, a ver, Ana. Empezó. <laughs> <risa> Dele, si empezó. Ana, aquí, es ese hombre. No a perdonamos. Ver, no, a ver, Anita, ¿esa oración eh, is it acting as a subject or is it acting as an object? 
Uh, number four, the one that Elmer told me. Ah. Um, yes. <laughs> va antes, ¿verdad? El, el uh -huh. No, va después, ¿verdad? Va después. Va después. Two things that I would be anxious about. Uh -huh. Yes. Eh, va después. Sí, sí porque, uh -huh. va después. Porque primero lo pone lo que... ¿Qué es lo que lo pone ansioso? Ajá. Ah, Ajá. pues sí, pero ese es el, el, el sujeto. El objeto es. Object. El objeto. Lo que, lo que está aquí, Ana, donde dice, are two things I would be anxious about, is the object. Es o sea, es the noun phrase acting as an object. Ajá. O sea, fall in love en la otra And cosa. And find a job es, 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 ¿no? Ese sería como el sujeto. Ajá. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ajá, eso. Pero no. es el beginning ah, okay. of the sentence. Ajá. Uh -huh. All right, very good. Uh -huh. O sea que es D cuando dígalo va. Dígalo otra vez, dígalo otra vez. Cuando va. Pero en antes. low. Ah, uh -huh. <risa> <risa> Anita. <risa> Ignoremos a él, ¿verdad? <risa> o sea que, eh, vaya, estas dos, las que íbamos a poner aquí en este caso, uh -huh. eh, son sujetos. Sí. ¿Verdad? Porque están antes del. Están del antes. Verbo subir. Exacto. Ok. Uh -huh. Okay. Y el noun phrase okay. que sería two things I would be anxious about, entonces uh -huh. es el, el noun phrase acting as an object. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Yeah? All right. Okay. Hagamos la nueve, Anita, porfa. La nueve. What the be insecurity about is uh -huh. traveling the bus. Le okay. habíamos puesto. Ok, so uh -huh. travel by bus. Ok, traveling by bus. Ok. Y en eso sería el noun eh, phrase, ¿es acting as a subject o as an object? El, el, el noun phrase. El noun phrase sería one thing I be insecurity about, yes. ¿verdad? Entonces, yeah. en este caso sería el object. No, el subject. El subject, porque está antes del verbo be. Ajá, uh -huh. sí, es el subject. Uh -huh. All right. Sí. Ahí se tiene que guiar, Ana. Bueno, para empezar hay que identificar el noun phrase, ¿verdad? Que sería, one thing I would be insecure about. En este caso estamos uh -huh. usando adjetivo, ¿verdad? Insecure. All right, uh -huh. no el noun. Pero eh, todo el noun phrase es todo, es porque es, por eso se llama, es una noun phrase, porque es larga, ¿no? Una noun clause, ¿sabes? Sí. Como, entonces, y de, tiene que identificar si está antes o está después del verbo be. Si está antes del verbo be, es noun phrase as a subject. Si está después del verbo be, es noun phrase as an object. Ok. Uh -huh. Esa es como la, la clave, digamos. Ahora, al re, del, uh, ya sea al principio o ya sea al final, el significado es el mismo. Eso sí no cambia. Sí. Sí, uh -huh. ajá, eso sí. Ok. Okie dokie, thank, thank you guys. Porte bien, señor Don Elmer. Que es gratis, vea. Porte se bien que es gratis. Of course. Mm. Okay. <risa> Elmer iba a seguir en el otro módulo. Sí, ¿por qué, teacher? No, pregunto. Me mira así algo, algo que no puedo. No. ¿Cómo la vaina? <risa> No, pues sí, usted dígame lo que piensa, pues. No, yo por pregunta. Si hace la pregunta, no, alguna razón tiene. Ahí, no, ahí para... bien subliminal me pregunta. Ay, no, ya me voy. Vaya, Anita. <risa> ahí está la mera, la maciza. Ay, ajá. Ay, teacher. ¿Qué pasó? We're Terminamos. Finished. Okay, very I good. Think. One thing I would definitely be fascinated by is traveling around the world. My relationship with coworkers is something I would really miss. Two things I would be homesick for are... Okay, si tenemos... Okay, are to play soccer and to watch a family type movie, maybe? Yes. All right. Video. Okay. Um, oh, video? Sure. Yeah. Um, uh, change the type or for video. Yeah, maybe. No. Maybe. Yeah, it's better. Okay. Drive a car and drive a motorcycle. Video. Okay. Something that I would I would depress. I would be depressed about. 
I think it's... Uh, espérame, que hay una huella allá afuera. <risa> de ahí de su casa. Encontró pupusas, niña. No, no, Tristeza no, no, más grande. Horrible, ni me acuerdo. Me voy a morir de hambre y de depresión. <risa> Es que por aquí pasan los, los eh, camiones de caña de azúcar. Ay, hoy Entonces, como hay mía. menos bulla, ah, claro. se oye más. <risa> ok. Eh, something that I would be depressed about. Es a las cinco, hay que cambiarlo un poquito. Something that I would be depressed about is the pollution of the environment. Something mm. that I would be depressed about or would depress me maybe. Something that would depress me. Okay, no, déjela así, déjela así. Something that would depress me is not... Ya, ya, olvídelo. Forget it. <laughs> Answer okay. question in public is one thing I might be embarrassed about. Okay. The most uncomfortable thing would be take a beer. Oh my goodness, to take a beer. Okay, solo fíjense que A es singular y beers están puestos en plural. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. All right. Uh, so, yeah. es una cerveza o varias cervezas, como quieran. <laughs> the cow. Están ahí en mi sé que me gustan las cervezas. <laughs> ya, ya me di cuenta. <laughs> the cow is something from home that I would never miss. One thing I would be insecure about is the luck. The luck. I don't understand that one. The okay. luck, uh, falta de. Ah, entonces es con A. Con A. Luck. Luck. Uh, okay. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. Travel mm -hmm. abroad and go to music concert are two things I would be very enthusiastic about. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yes. All right. We're going to go back you. right now and we'll have another okay. activity. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. No. Wrong. I don't know. Is this, this no, teacher correct? The, the writing? Oh, for all of them. Turn off your microphone. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two That's things happy. I would be homesick for are um are different. No, but this try thing. different kinds of food maybe. Oh. To try. And to be far away from my family. To be. Uh -huh. To be. To, uh -huh. You have to say are different, uh, to try different kinds of food. To try different kinds of food and to be far away from my family. Okay, guys, uh, we're back here. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna share my screen with you. So, uh, Normita, I'm going to stop sharing your screen, okay? Thank you, teacher. Just give me one moment. Yeah. Just make sure that you save your job, uh, your work and everything, Norma, okay? Okay, thank okay. you. Thank you. All right, okay. Uh, let's see. So, Jennifer, tell me, tell me number two. Is something that I would really miss? My family. Ah, my family. Something I really miss. Okay, but be careful with that because something is for cosas and family are people. Ah, uh, my car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, Norma, what about number one? What, do you, what did you have for number one, Normita? One thing I definitely be fascinated by reduce my stress is what. Okay. All right, Eli Larin. No, hold on, Elita, not you. Carlos Alberto, porque Carlitos no estuvo ayer. Two things I would be homesick for are, Carlos. Carlos Alberto. Uh, which one, teacher? Which one? No me acuerdo. Which one? Number three. Number three. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Number three. Number okay. three, Carlitos. Thank you. All right. Quería ver si están poniendo atención. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, two things I be homesick for are visiting my grandparents mm. and talking with them. Okay, very good. 
Algo que tenemos que recordar es si van a usar, por ejemplo, en este caso que hay dos cosas que usted puede eh, sentirse nostálgica, nostálgica, si lo van a poner en gerundio, son los dos en gerundio. Si lo van a usar en infinitivo, los dos en infinitivo. ¿Verdad? No es como que tutti frutti, ¿verdad? O uno u otro. ¿Son los dos o son los dos? You understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Two things I, I would be homesick for are uh, my family and my friends. Por ejemplo, lo podríamos dejar hasta ahí. Or something that I would be definitely be fascinated by is learning a new language and trying new food. This is yes, gerundio es con ambos. Okay? So just for you to remember that. Okay. So let's go on here, guys. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Okay, I want you to take a picture of this right now. Can you take a picture of that one right now, please? Yes. Yes. Okay. Finished? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, now take another one. Finished? Oops. Uh, not teacher. Okay. Oh, hold on, please. Yep. I got it. Thank you. Okay, very good. Okay. So here what you have to do, I'm going to send you back to your groups and the idea is for you to speak. Okay. If you want, you can type, I mean, type your answer. So when I come into your group, I can see your answers. Or if you don't know how to, or if you don't want to, it's okay. But I'm going to come in and I'm going to ask you. So the idea is for you to have these questions and ask each other. For example, if I'm working with Adriana, I say, Adriana, if you could live in a foreign country, what country would you like to live in and why? The idea is for you guys to practice speaking. Okay? So Adriana could say, oh, I would live, I would like to live in Thank Canada you. because it's one of the most, um, I don't know, um, developed countries in the whole world, for example, okay? <laughs> and then I will, I mean, Adriana asks me and I ask Adriana. So the idea is for you to like talk to each other, okay? Yeah? Yeah. with these okay. questions so what i'm saying is if you want to like type your answers it's okay if not just ask each other okay so the idea here guys is to have a time for you to practice your speaking um skill all right of english yes I, i'm sure you understand all the uh, all the vocabulary is nothing new for you in case you don't know uh you can ask me or you can ask your partner okay are we ready Yes. 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 Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop sharing. Oh, what mm -hmm. did I do? I'm gonna stop. What sharing. is beaten, teacher? What is beaten? Beaten. Ah, beaten. mordido. Mordido ah, or mordida for yeah. an animal. By an animal. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right. So I'm gonna reassign the groups because we had new people coming in. So I'm gonna recreate the groups. Okay. Whoa, what happened? Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna make seven groups because we have 14 participants. So we're gonna change groups right now. There you go. Jenita, Jenny, Jenny, are you there? Hi, Jennifer, what happened? Jenny?
con quien nunca. What is something uh -huh. you would no, que, never que, have? Con, hi, Rocío. Hi, es algo. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Hey, Which hey. one are you working on right now? Uh, the number four. What is something you would never travel with? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Money. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, money, money, money. So you can say money is something I would never travel without, right? Oh, uh, yes, okay. Like in that case, okay. we're trying to put into practice the noun phrases. All right, so you say money oh, okay. is something that I would never travel without or something that I would never travel without is money. So I can use it either as a subject or I can use it as an object. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Or you make it short and you say money, but the idea is for you to practice what you have learned. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Thank La you. salvé de, de él, Melanita. <laughs> 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 no, bien. si solo usted la molesta. Sí, yo sé. Conmigo bien me estaba explicando. <laughs> y conmigo le agarra de bullying. Ay, divertido. Es tremendo, ¿verdad? Sí, sabe que ya lleva, de hecho ya llevo un año con él. Bueno, él ya lleva un año en mis clases. Sí, así me contó. Sí, desde, desde me siempre contó. me ha hecho bullying. Es que le gusta ponerla nerviosa. ¿no? Ajá, yo creo, es que es así de chico. Es tremendo, le digo yo. Oh my goodness. All right. Pero, sí, pero se pone seriecito de vez en cuando. Sí, no, y es que entiende un montón. Sí, sí, sí. Ajá, por eso es que se aprovecha de estar uh -huh. chistando después. Oh my goodness. Vaya, pues las dejo, chicas, sigan trabajando. Good job. Gracias. Okay. You do need and you need the pearl. What do you most miss most about being in country? Is it to get a phone extranjero? And I don't know. What do you see? Number one. Number one. Uh huh. If you live abroad, what would you miss most about your home country? Uh, one thing it could be resting in my sofa. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay. So you can, you guys, you may answer saying, um, resting in my sofa would be something I would miss. I would miss the most. All right. Or I would miss the most resting in my sofa. Yeah. Okay. So you can use I could meet the most my 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 dog. My dog. Your dog. dog. Okay. All right. So just oh, the idea is for you okay. to practice like saying it um, as a, like noun phrases as a subject or noun phrases as an object. What Okay. If the if that's the the case of the question. All right. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yes, the pupusa yes. with Loroco because I I like the pupusas. Okay. Uh, yes, my, my dear teacher. Don't mention pupusas. Pupusa. I get hungry every time if I <laughs> mention pupusas. What pupusa number are you working the, on? Uh -huh. Pupusa yeah. and the teacher, by the <laughs> the teacher, the teacher, no, because oh. I, I only want, I only see a uh, through the the computer. <laughs> it, it is, it, it, uh, it is the, it is the same case. What okay. number are you guys working on? Uh, the first for that. The first. Uh -huh. The first in my. What case, about you, Jose? In my case, I see the the same. Pupusas. The pupusa, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All the right. next. What is the scene you would enjoy most about living abroad? It it. If you live abroad. Carlos, Eli, and Adri, how are you doing? What number are you guys working on? Huh? 
What the number are you? Number. Number. The number six. Number six. Four. Yep. Okay. If, you one? One? if you live around, if you live, uh huh. If you live around, what would you miss most about uh -huh. your home country? So if you live in another mm. place, what would you miss the most about El Salvador? Yeah. What um, would you uh, miss? I miss the pupusas. Me too, Adriana. <laughs> I'm dying for pupusas. Oh my goodness. In this moment, in this country, miss the pupusas. I, oh, I know. Yo me voy a morir sin la pupusas. <laughs> All right. Hi, Adriana. What would you uh, miss, uh, Carlos? I'm sorry? What would you miss? Pupusas also, or would you miss something else? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm. Okay. I Por miss the uh, panes matanino. Oh, my goodness. Those are good, <laughs> Ellie, too. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very nice. All right. Continue working. Okay. Uh, what? Hi Jenny. Hi Noe. Hi, Hello, teacher. teacher. What number are you guys working on, girls? And in, in the number two. Number two. What country wouldn't you like to live in? Ah, in oh, oh, y encontramos <laughs> una que nos hemos destapado. Yes. Yes. Which one? Belize. Ah, yes. oh, okay. Belize. I tell to Noemi about the Belize because. My brother, my stepbrother, uh -huh. lived in, oh. in Belize many years ago. Okay. And Belize is a, a little stinky, and the people too. It's stinky <laughs> as in Black. like, it smell bad? Smell. Like, like uh, tacaños. Uh, uh, no, sorry. Uh, sucios? Uh, like filthy? Que no okay. se baña. <laughs> Aha, okay, all right, okay. Dirty. Yes, dirty. dirty. Okay, yeah, okay. Dirty in the, the city too. Oh. Many years ago. In this moment, I don't know. Right, but, okay. But the pipes. Aha. Uh -huh. Pipes are uh, over the floor, okay. over the land, over the land, and okay. it's uh, a dirty. And the black people use uh, rastas, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. use use rastas, and don't wash the hair. Oh my goodness, Jenny! <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't wash the hair. Oh, I can. <laughs> No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't live in, in, in Belize. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. All right. Next one. Very good. Okay. Who is the person you mm -hmm. would most like to go abroad? <laughs> yes, you need I, to work. Really, I don't know that. That I don't have an. Uh, an um, idea for the for the day. Me In neither. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Hello. Hi, teacher. Well, in my case, I have done the the platform because I I didn't want it to be uh, doing fast in the last day. <laughs> so you finished, Jose? Yes, I, I have already finished. <gasps> nice, good. And Normita? No, teacher, I, I need to con continue working in that. What section I, What section are you in? D. Okay, all right. I can see. Okay. I think the idea is that we're going to continue with, with the... Yeah, book. I received today... Oh, really? ...an email with the form. Oh, the, nice. The direction was... You fill the form and make a PDF file. File, uh huh. PDF. And uh -huh. send to the 
to the one people in, in the in that uh, the academy. Academy. Uh huh. Ah, okay. Okay. Tomorrow I feel that. All right. Did they mention when the, the we're going to begin, or they didn't mention that? No. Only say that the, this week you need to make the form. Oh, okay. All right. Ramos, did you Jose? Did you receive that email? I haven't seen it yet. Maybe Jonathan would... Guzman's teacher. He, he sent it to you. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. I mean, and which that, is good. The, the limit date is uh, April eight. Okay, so it's next week then. Uh huh. For the next week. Yeah. Okay. I think we're gonna start right after uh, Semana Santa. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay. And you're gonna continue, Norma? Yes, teacher. Okay. And Jose, you're gonna continue too? Yes, I want. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Nice. Okay. Very good. Okay. So I'll let you finish working and I'm gonna go to another group right now. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Norma. Hi guys. All right, let's see. Um, Norma, if you live abroad, Norma, what would you miss most about your home country? Well, I, if I live abroad, uh, I miss most Uh, the food for the pupusas. <laughs> I think everybody <laughs> is talking about pupusas. Oh no, I'm yes. gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Okay. Uh, Elmer, what is the thing that you would enjoy most about living abroad? That food, teacher. Oh, you would enjoy it? Yeah. Yes, the international oh. food. Yeah. Oh, all right, very good. Any, if you lived abroad, what would what would you be most nervous about? I I don't um if I lie abroad, live abroad. Would, uh -huh. be, would be most nervous about is don't feel work. Oh, not to work. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, very good. Adriana, if you got bitten by an animal in another country, what would you do? Uh, well, first I cry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and, then, then visit a, <laughs> and then, yes, visit a, a hospital. A hospital, all right, very good. Okay. Jennifer, <laughs> if you went to another country alone, how would you make friends, Jenny? If I if you live to if you went to another country alone, how would you make friends? How would you make friends? ¿Cómo me gustaría ser amigos? ¿Cómo haría amigos si se fuera para otros otro país solí? Oh, and the first the first uh, the first I uh, try to. Uh, speak with them okay and the first visit <laughs> visit okay. the person okay and try to speak with them and okay. try to to the the investigate uh about the the customs okay nice and um, customs because mm -hmm. we need respect that's right. Yes, of course. Uh, the, the, 
the different uh, uh, things. Okay. Things, pensamientos. Okay. Things yes. To thought to them. Okay. All right. And okay. yes. Okay. Um, yes. maybe cook, cook whatever food. Uh huh. And present, and present to them. Okay, pupusas, yay! <laughs> <laughs> that's, only, that's only in my mind. Oh my goodness, guys! Cada vez que ustedes tengan la oportunidad but de teacher, pupusas, piensen en mí. <laughs> you don't, you don't have a, uh, how do you say, embarazo, pregnant? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Solo que yo, mi dieta es comer pupusas todos los días. <risa> ok, entonces ya llevo desde, no sé, desde el 11 de marzo. La cuarentena. Comer pupusas. No, I eat con pupusas. Ay, no. Because my neighbors... Eh, eh, They make pupusas. They make pupusas. Yes, oh, and me, I make pupusas. Oh, my goodness, Jenny, ¿por dónde vive? <risa> Yeah, really lucky. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, guys. So today was the last class with like um, topics of the platform. Tomorrow we have a class, but we are going to go over uh, the final exam. Okay, the final exam. And if you have any problems with some of the exercises from the other sections. So that's the, that's the plan tomorrow, okay? So I hope everybody gets in tomorrow to see or we can, I mean, to work together on the final exam and if you have any questions about anything else. Um, Norma was telling me that she received a message today about the, uh, like, continuing with the, or with the program and the, pro, the process of everything. So if you receive that message, please fill in the form that you were sent, okay? No se les vaya a pasar esa fo ese formulario. No sé si a todos les cayó ya ese formulario que normalmente... El formulario. El formulario. Yes, teacher. Okay. No. Hay una... ¿Cuál, niños? No. ¿A dónde? Correo, ¿Cuándo? No, en el correo. correo lo mandaron. No. Yes, ah, no teacher, but... Madre mía, hay que llenarlo antes del 8. Sí. Mi email es de la empresa y en mi casa no tengo acceso a él. Si quieres, lo que puedo hacer es subirlo al grupo de WhatsApp, el formulario. Y de todas maneras, ¿Es eh, sí, escríbale sí. A, a, a Jason, que usted no tiene acceso ahorita al, al correo de la oficina, que se lo reenvíe el suyo. Yes. ¿Y qué es lo que vamos a llenar, my dear No, usted no, el mercito, no se preocupe. Ah. Ah, Ajá, no tengo Elmer. nada. Why not? No, I'm kidding, Elmer. It's, es, una, es un formulario, Normita, porque usted ya lo recibió. Cuéntele a sus compañeritos. Es un formulario. Porque no, no me quieren el otro. Va. <risa> ya vi. Ya ah. vi. Es un formulario para, para poder suscribir en el siguiente grupo. Ah, ok. Ficha sin necesidad que la empresa lo firme. Yo creo que ahorita... Sí, como, es que dice estamos? ahí que por la emergencia. Ajá. Ah, Por la okay, emergencia pues, solo ah. han pedido dos cosas ahí, pero hay que escanearlo. Hay, hay que imprimir un, y un formulario, ajá. Y después, ¿Y para qué lo vas a imprimir si de igual manera no lo vas a mandar? No, hay que porque no, dice no, si lo, lo vas a mandar porque dice que lo tenés que firmar. Ah, escanearlo. Ah, claro, ajá. Okay. No es. No es. ¿Qué ¿Por qué hacen eso? Solo es de llenarlo si viendo... Bueno, está bien. Bueno, pues. no, eh, miren, considerando bueno, cómo, es que son, o sea, cómo son todos que... los procesos, realmente han, o sea, han hecho el proceso súper más sencillo esta vez para poder seguirnos, así que no estoy diciendo nada. Sí, porque no han pedido lo del seguro. Ajá. Ajá. Uy, sí, sí, eso oh, es lo más tedioso. Está bien. Sí, no es. Así, no, así está <ríe> bien. Así seguimos, ¿no? De todas si maneras. no lo querés imprimir, decirle a Jason, ahí dice que, le, que te comuniques con él. <ríe> Y nunca, nunca arreglan ahí nada, tú. Les pedí no, ayuda en no, los problemas y se hicieron los de los panes, se rebotaron el, el, el volado ahí, ¿a quién? No pero es igual cita, yo... pero mire, usted llénelo sí. para que siga en el proceso, dígame. No, no, no. Es que, es que tengo problemas, teacher, con la plataforma, no puedo ingresar, si se me ha bloqueado. ¡Eh! Carlos Alberto, ¿y qué sección ha hecho? Es la primera. 
Al, Carlos me va a dar algo, Dios mío, y me olvidaron las pupusas. Estoy bien, estoy bien atrasado y que he estado, he estado en mi trabajo, entonces no tuve acceso a, a computadora ya, porque uh -huh. he estado en cuarenta, bueno, hoy como estamos con esto, ¿verdad? Que, quedé en mi trabajo y no pude venir a, a la casa y allá no, no tuve acceso a computadora para poder Carlito, hacer eso. pero está bien. Pero se me ha bloqueado. Sí, sí, sí. Gracias Vaya. a Dios, sí. Eh, le voy, bueno, el niño ya debe estar dormido, pero acuérdeme, escribe en el grupo recordándome y de un solo ahí está Jason, igual escríbale usted mañana y cuéntele cuál fue su situación y que le ayude para que le habilite eso. Porque sí, el problema es que... Y, y vuelva a escribir así mañana, así non-stop, ¿verdad? Para que le pueda ayudar. Porque si no termina la plataforma, aunque en el formulario, el formulario no lo van a agregar al otro módulo. Sí, okay. entonces yo, yo esperaba avanzar ahora, pero he estado, estuve intentando y no pude, se me bloqueó dos veces. Y, ah, pues y sí, eso... escríbale a él, porque él sí, él es el que ayuda con eso, ahí sí no, no puedo yo, no tengo acceso a eso yo. All right. Ok. Ok, okay mis you. niños, entonces, you're welcome. Los veo mañana, la última clase de este módulo. Si ya recibió el documento, Noemí, llénelo. All right. Eh, Ahorita estoy en eso, teacher. Vaya, ok, para seguir. Yo creería que igual empezaríamos después de vacación de Semana Santa, ¿verdad? Pero... Ahorita lo estoy llenando. <risa> ok, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. 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 bye.